Hello guys, so we got our Visual Studio back. Um, we'll try to see if we can now add scaffolded item. Okay, alright, cool. So we got the identity here and it's going to give us um, options. So, uh, what are the pages that we want to generate? and oh, let's wait for it hang on just hang on guys hang on guys okay so this project here is currently set up to log in using Azure AD but then we have a um, so we don't have I believe we need to <coughs> do we need to set up okay yeah I think we can set up um, up data so we can put this in we can relocate this uh, later but we can use this um, app DB context here and yeah that will be the name use this client instead uh, of SQL server what's this user class um, user class is we want to call this app user okay so add this one app user and add this and I believe it will scaffold the DB context as well and Just hold on to your eyes. Okay, let's wait for it. Oops. Hold on to your eyes. Okay, so it 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 automatically add packages that we need. And there was an error running the selected code generator, failed to compile the project in memory, Azure server side, and initialize no suitable method for override. Um, mm, what is this? Select, select an existing layout page or specify a new one. Uh, okay, so, okay, so let's cancel this first. Cancel this. So we actually need um, because this one we already put logic here. So I think we need to for now we need to um, comment this out first so that this um, the scaffolding engine is going to use this main layout. Okay, so let's let's do that again so did it generate the DB context no okay so that is expected again new scaffolded um, identity uh, let's pause it okay so we have this again and then we're going to select our main layout uh, where's our main layout what leave empty if it is set in a blazer view start yeah okay so app db context user class is um, app user and add again hopefully this will run successfully this time because we already commented out the implementation in our main layout and again it's not working so it complains on this pages here um, how do we do this um, should I comment this out as well Mm, log 
in. Um, okay, so I will try to over um, comment this out for now. Let's comment this out. Okay. And then, all right. Um, okay, let's do this again. Scaffolded item, 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 item. Sign in. Override. Okay. App DB context. Then app user. Then add. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, you can do it. Don't error on me. Don't error on me. Alright, cool. So it generated successfully. And what else did it add? Um, login display. Um, here. Um, okay, so it has pages. This account here. Okay, and where is our DB context? Uh, where is my DB context? Oh, so the data is here. And the identity user is here. Okay. And um, how do we set the connection here? So, um, yeah, um, okay. So now we need to set up the, the startup configuration for our um, DB context. So we have this. Um, codes in our all our projects with .NET Core and we're going to okay I think my Visual Studio hang it, wait, it, it changed the color options um, should be dark. Hey, don't don't light on me. And um, okay, and put the settings here. Okay, so the server configuration it added uh, the server configuration as well. So. We're just going to use this one here. Um, laser app advent app adventure adventure and then server server side ad. So that will be the database name. And here um, it's. Does does it have a startup? Okay, yep, it has its own startup here. And is it taking from this um, setting here? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we don't need to add this one here. And maybe we can... Okay, let's try to... Where is our package manager? Package manager... Okay, so let's. Does it have uh, migration now? So I believe no migrations yet. So add migration and then identity set up identity.
and then update database okay so I go in here <laughs> oh, no, 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 not that one. Um, we don't have to remove that. We just need to add the correct server. And um, uh, where's it? Server side. So let's check. Yep, so our users are there. And um, can we remove this? And we remove that. And also here, can we remove this comments now? <coughs> and in our what did it add here? Okay. Add authorization. Okay, so let's try to run. Okay, so let's log in. I will ha I'll have to hide because this is going to prompt me my organization's email address. Okay, let's log in. Okay, so it's no login. And if we log out, yeah, it was able to log out. Okay. And it goes to log out. Hmm. Okay, so where is this located? Yep, so it was added uh, already. So in the next video, I'm going to uh, we can set up what is um, how the working flow is going to how the flow is going to work. And yep, that's it for this video. Thanks. Bye.